Hey. hey, what's up, pop stars? This is Pop Gibberish. I'm Joe. I'm Shay. And today we're watching a new show um, suggested by our patrons uh, called The Bear. Um, this one is a show that's been uh, suggested before uh, in comments, but uh, we had a patron poll and the patron poll ended with this one being the top voted one. So uh, thank you to our patrons uh, for choosing the next show. So we're, this is going to replace Abbott Elementary, uh, in case you didn't know. And coincidentally, uh, uh, Quinta's sister in the show, Abbott Elementary, is yeah. a co-star in this show. Yeah. So uh, and uh, and they both got um, re uh, awards uh, for the same style of role, like I think, uh, hmm. for like a comedic role or something okay. like that. Okay. Uh, they got awards for it. So so this is another one of those shows that's highly sought after. So we're excited to jump into this show. Yeah. Um, this one is about uh, being a chef, from what I understand. That's pretty much all I got from okay. <laughs> from it. Okay. But uh, yeah, also, the comment told us that that one episode where they with the cold open of the episode where they were in the, the the lunchroom and they were like cooking really fast and frantic and they were bringing the food out to Mr. Johnson. Mm -hmm. That was a reference to this. Oh, okay, <laughs> so, okay. <laughs> so They're looking out. Yeah, so there's some some parallels between okay. Abbott Elementary and this. So okay. it was a good good transition. You think so. it's the same writers? Maybe. Oh no, I, oh, no okay. I think they just you know because there's some overlap of a couple actors or whatever the case is gotcha. and it, it was like a hot show at the time okay they were just doing a reference to okay. it but but yeah if you like what we're doing here go ahead and like and subscribe hit that notification bell so you can get notification every single time we drop a video to our patrons are going to get this early also thank you for this show yeah. and you. um you're going to get the watch along um if you want to become a patron if you want to control what we watch going forward become a patron down below in the link and you can vote in polls you can get things early you can get watch alongs and all that kind of cool stuff but yeah we're just going to jump into this episode because we have no idea what this show really is no, about we don't. <laughs> other than cooking <laughs> that's about it there you go all right so all right. uh you got anything no all right cool let's do right. it i love gas rain stoves yeah they're definitely better than electrical <clears throat> grew up with gas range so so anything other than that is really strange hmm. I guess this is the bear I What's guess oh uh, yeah I do like what are you doing this is it has to be like a dream or something <laughs> yeah Yeah, I was gonna say I'm like has to be a dream. Yeah, for real. He's got a very unique face. Yeah, he does. <laughs> yo, yo, twenty five pounds. Twenty five? No, no, no. I ordered two hundred. Pay for twenty five. Take it up a loop. Oh wow. That's not good. It is not. Yeah, no, 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 Louis, that's, that's, that's really nice of you. Uh-huh. Yeah, no, no, we're, we're really grateful to still be open after. He's very vascular. <laughs> He's got a lot of veins. <laughs> Past due, overdue. Might be going out of business. Yeah, it looks like it. Oh, they foreshadowed that someone... Okay. Was born and like it showed their no, good. Yeah, yeah. Okay. born date and their end date. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Right. yeah he said Before I miss him too, so it's probably too. somebody. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody that owns. Own, Maybe used he to took over the. Over the yeah. yeah. Nice. Classic video games. Don't unplug it. I know what that means, Tina. You unplug it, it won't work again. Mm. What was the hmm. last time you these? I don't know. Huh. Might have oh, some change some in there. Yeah. There you go. Oh wow. Okay. Oh, the nice knives. Hey Chi Chi, it's Carm. You still got that meat connect? That's crazy to have a meat connect. <laughs> right, right. 
I like these like old photos. Yeah. This has a very retro kind of vibe yeah, to it. Yeah, it does. You cut vegetables like a bitch. Don't. <laughs> Jeff. Jeff. This is it Jeff? <laughs> <laughs> Did he promote her? Is that why she looked? I don't like know. That? Okay, they're in Chicago. Chicago Bears. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. Some connections there. Just, what huh? in the world? Okay. Just told us he doesn't cook at home. Because I fucking don't. This is original Big E Red Line Selfish, all right? From 1944. You can get 12.50 for that on eBay tonight. And I'd still be five and a half short at this. Oh, is he? Plus 1955 blanket line type three. Pleated. Pleated. Boom. All that for some meat? Right. Maybe he's got something going on that's going to make him more money? Ah, uh, maybe. Is he selling that? No, okay. he's about to do a tournament for the game. Okay. But I wonder what... I'm trying to follow what's going on. He's making a... What is it? A beef brisket or a uh, beef stew or something? I, I don't know what he's doing. It was a lot going on. <laughs> it was. It was <laughs> a lot of fast pace. And he woke up at 6.05 and now it's 10.25. Yeah. Yeah, I need that uh, jacket that Mike gave me. Yeah, look, can you uh, can you bring it here? Thank you. These jackets must be really vintage. Yeah, those are a, that was a lot of denim. <laughs> hey. Yeah. Right. Shit. Sorry. Yes. Yeah. Carmi. Yeah. Um. Hey. Here. Give me your. Uh, um, yes. Thank you. Uh, linear smoke back. That's some serious heat. Does she have a rolling swarm? I don't think so. Okay. Hmm. Marcus, I need a double order of bread today. Okay. okay. Chef, come on, Carmi. I've been telling you for the past two weeks the mix is fucking, and I gotta do all this by hand. Plus, Tina keeps messing up the temperature, and it's fucking on my rise. Oh, Tina, I know you speak English. <laughs> Fix it right this second, but I will get you in the mixer, okay? I promise you. Carmen, yes, yeah. sir. All right, that's the beef. Come on, give me a hand. Seems like he's there to cl <clears throat> maybe clean up, like bring things back together. Maybe. That was out of place. I'm saying something. Marcus, I said something. You are my favorite. It's a lot of chaos. Kidnapper ship captains? Your mom teaches me doing sex. Oh, that's not cool. No. <laughs> <laughs> I like the. The chemistry between these characters. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> oh wow. Yeah. The, the, working in the kitchen in that food industry is a beast. Thanks, chef. So everybody's called chef. Too many chefs in the kitchen. He said it looks different. Oh, hey, I know this guy, too. He's going to be in a new uh, Fantastic Four movie as Ben Grimm, as The Thing. Okay. Just completely like blowing up. Followers, dog. Yeah, I got, what is that, a disc? I got 36 <laughs> followers, you fucking jackass, dog. <laughs> <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh, how was the recital? Oh, my God, she murdered it, Dina. I got to, hold, hold on, listen. You gotta run the stuff by me first. I don't have to do shit. Hold on. Wait, listen, let's just have a conversation. For Are they related? Probably. Remember, I was running it fine without it. Why didn't you leave it to you then? Hmm. Low on olive oil, Carmen. Okay. Mm. Mm. Oh. So it's mm. his brother's restaurant. That's his cousin. Yeah. His cousin passed and. He was running the restaurant. Okay. Six, that will get us through the week, right? So, ball breaker. Just make it easy and make the fucking spaghetti. Don't say spaghetti. All these knives are dull. Spaghetti is the biggest seller. Sound like me when I was working at right. in the restaurant, in the kitchen. Cause He's going to cut something. Oh, yeah, himself. He's an oversauced mess. Oh, it took seven hours to prep. You know what? This shit right here made you pompous and delusional and a fucking gay rock. <laughs> Look where the ants, 
Carmen. None of these fuckwads taught you how to make a pasta. I'm trying to learn how to make pasta, Carmen. Hey. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to react, but <laughs> I'm it's just going so it. fast yeah. and it's. <laughs> These knives are making me, making me nervous. Like I'm waiting for someone to cut themselves. He's complaining about the knives being dull. Oh, the energy is chaotic. She took his knife because she, because he took her pot. Yeah. In 25 years, Carl. System, baby. System. 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 You can barely afford to pay people, but six systems. Talk to me about labor. I thought this was your house. Bruh. It's intense. It is very intense. Announcement. Listen up. Bread stays the same. Gravy stays the same. Oh. Okay. I know that uh, Italian uh, yeah. gesture. Yeah. <laughs> right. Cousin brought a lot of, I mean, it was already chaotic. But chaotic, and he just took it up the level. You're confusing. Yeah, homie. It's a Norwegian knockoff of Mortal Kombat. Part of the reason why this machine got recalled in the first place, aside from the excessive and irresponsible violence, is it's just too That's a knockoff of Mortal Kombat. <laughs> it was, she's fighting with her butt cheeks. I really hope that they look nice. Mm. I don't know, I wasn't there. How long is this gonna take? It's gonna take an hour. All right, it's gotta be faster. Yo, Sweeps, can you open up the windows in the back, please? Later. Carmen, you're bleeding. He said later. I thought he was bleeding. He started bleeding. Oh my god. So blood got on something, something. that he was cutting and I saw I thought he was bleeding. He was just moving so fast he didn't feel it. Yeah. I don't know what the blood could have gotten on though. I hope that doesn't come back to it to be a part of the well, plot it'd, or something. <laughs> it'll be in the stew at this point. <laughs> Let's hope that. Almost there. Okay, so he's having stomach issues apparently because I seen the Pepto-Bismol on the desk. I think he's having some kind of anger issues or something. Something's going on. Mm. Dude, put that phone in the sink, bro. No one is listening to him. Uh oh. You think it's gonna blow up and lose it? This is his twin brother. Uh oh. Uh oh. Is that his knife on the floor? Why are they trying to sabotage what he's doing? You're ruining my day, right? Oh God, so guy, don't do it. That's an expensive knife too. Like, I'm like, oh my God, where, where did you get that? Where, where did you steal uh oh, knife, Jesus, okay. Someone did, they show the bear, he's in his head. Okay, what? I was hoping he wasn't gonna do anything stupid. What are they trying to tell us? I don't know. I'm just going to let it happen. <laughs> right. Everything is happening so fast to the point where when something funny happens, then they moved on so fast to something serious. So it seems messed up to be laughing when they're talking about somebody that died. And I'm like, wait a minute. I wasn't ready for that part yet. Right. Okay. Yo. Are you putting the bag or anything? <clears throat> is that the sugar? For me? Hi. Hi. Poor guy. I almost feel sorry for him. They must be related. Okay. She says something about sister. Sorry. <clears throat> sorry, I just hate seeing you here. He looks stressed. Marcus, what? We're the chili flakes. It's the most Polish shit ever. Cousin organizes. It's more confusing there. Label chili flakes. Wow. How is it confusing? He's got labels on everything. Right. Three times and had a no hit. He's just being a a hole. Hmm. 
Hmm. It's a restaurant. What was it a war for? Chef's award. Hmm. No, that I think we should sell it to him. So we can flip it into an Applebee's? No, no, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to, to do something here, sugar. Okay, I was so excited for you to come home. Oh, I thought they was bringing the ingredients, sugar. No. Her name is sugar? Yeah, either her name or her nickname, yeah. Okay. Bear. Yeah. I love you. There's got to be something with that vintage. There's a that was a lot of denim that he sold. Yeah. And apparently it's like vintage, like expensive denim somehow. Yeah. Time to try the new sandwiches behind. Warner. It's good that he um. Whatever. Whatever he has them do. Crumbly is too dense. The mixer. It's not the mixer. Right. Whatever he's telling him to do, telling them to do, he's he does. There you go, chef. Chef. Come on. What do you think? It's redundant and white, just like you. Heard, heard. <laughs> it's tender. It's nice. We happy. Oh, why she keep calling him that? Yeah. <laughs> Tell me, Ted. Delicious or impressive? Delicious is impressive. <laughs> oh wow, what are they doing outside? Are they protesting or? I don't fucking care. No, it's like a convention almost. How we looking? Dude, I'm gonna be able to fix this, dude. Right. Do you have any like stale bread? Thank you. Corner. Corner. Fine. Hey, I'll pay you in sandwiches. He is rude. He is such a yeah, I don't, jerk. I don't like him. Always an asshole, dude. Always in forever, dude. He's the fucking worst. Mm, yeah. He is. This guy, it's just he's sad inside. Oh. Oh no. <laughs> you needed to hear it, <laughs> <Right>. sir. <laughs> you are sad inside. <laughs> what? What's up with the? Yo, family's up. Hmm. Yeah. Do this. Oh my god, it smells like crap. That looks so good. Yeah, I'm sitting here. Oh. Family, like they sit, they eat. Mm hmm. Together. That's kind of what I got from that. But. I bring my own. This looks like shit. Oh, come on, man. <laughs> it. It's not pork, it's beef. He never, he never, he never like pork. I think the turn of his character is him. He's going to end up sitting with them. In fact, you're up. Me? Ah, I'm, I'm, I'm thankful for my, my cats, Ralph. Richie didn't come in here wearing that cologne today that he always be wearing. Onion under arm. <laughs> oh yeah, under arm. Right. <laughs> He's so stressed. Are they protesting in front of his restaurant? No, no, no. They're not protesting. Oh. They're just ready for it to open. I'm crazy out there. Come give me a hand. Oh, okay. This is on you. Thirteen. How about these platanos, though, right? No, really. Yeah, really. This is in my house. Remember? I didn't say I didn't like them. Send him home. What's his name? Jerk uh, face. Richie, I think. Oh, uh oh no. Uh oh. Oh what? no, wow. It's turned into a riot. How? This is cousin, isn't it? Any of you incels doing a fortune Snyder cut motherfuckers want to get out of line now? Anybody? <laughs> the shark. <laughs> right. <laughs> One <Right>. last shot. <laughs> that part. Oh. So, although he's a jerk, he came out and saved his cousin. Oh, put the 
gun. Dude. What is... Oh wow. <laughs> so, uh, do put the gun in your pocket. Me too. Cocks are gonna clean up after yourselves and you're gonna goddamn recycle. Okay, okay. He he getting on my good side now. He getting on my good side. <laughs> that was his save the cat moment, I guess. Right, right. Feed these fucking dorks. So okay. Get your ass back in there. That's how they. And you make that fucking spaghetti. That's how they talk in the kitchen, y'all. For real, like that. Sorry about the gun, babe. I had to get real. They curse like sailors. Wow. While cooking your food. <laughs> right. <laughs> He's making the spaghetti, I guess. Okay. And when so. they angry making your food, <laughs> yeah. I've seen that too. I'm like. Okay, that energy, uh, that explains a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I get the feeling something's going to happen to him. You think? That's going to make him... Uh-huh. Like it, don't you? He like, man, this is good. <laughs> <laughs> His bread is better. French, big time. Steam tray. Yep, You're right. You could throw down, huh? Grab me a fresh palm brick. He's all about business. He he right. has he's focused to save his brothers. He calls him chef. That means he respects him. Mm-hmm. It's starting. All you need is one. It's like a domino effect. Yep. Did never mind. He's gonna stick with it and go ahead and do it. Or not do it? Uh oh. What idea is he coming up with? Uh oh. Uh oh. He threw the sauce in the <laughs> trash can. Yeah. Uh, that was intense. I was like, going to say, that was an intense I, show. The first episode going into it, I didn't realize until, they, until Sugar showed up that my body was like this <laughs> like, i'm like watching and my body felt like i was wearing my shoulders as earrings and then i was like oh i'm like wait was i tense watching this <laughs> chaos and i don't i mean i didn't realize that like for a long portion of time i wasn't saying anything because I, I, I you know i was just kind of like watching right. instead of like reacting to it if this is one of those shows it's like trying to find something to comment on or try to find something to kind of react to outside of like the the bombastic you know uh yeah situations that happen yeah you know it's kind of hard cause and it was going so fast yeah. to the point where you didn't have time to really to react. react because yeah. they would go funny moment sad right like, it right, was right, like right, right, you right. blink yeah that's how fast it was yeah, the shift were, was going they were like even really in and out of the dramatic yeah. to the comedy. That's why this is a dramedy. It was a dramatic comedy. Definitely so a like, dramedy. Yeah, Man. I can definitely hear and see everything that they're talking about. So, yeah, I'm really into this show though. It, they, yeah. they draw you in really quick. They do. And the chemistry between the characters, uh, even though they seem like they hate each other, you can always you can tell that there's something else there as well. Yeah. You yeah. know, so I can really tell where I can't tell where it's going, but I can really tell that eventually this is going to become more of a like a um like he's going to gain the respect of everybody in the room yeah you know but and you I, think something is going to happen to the cousin it feels so, like something is going to happen i hmm. don't know it just feels like something's going to happen to the cousin he's too he's too contentious with everything to the point where i'm like something has to happen where he either gets on board or he some he becomes like one, like the antagonist or something like he becomes like oh i'm gonna make my own well i, I don't see him like making a rival you know uh, uh restaurant or anything no, weird like that. that but i just he just seems like he something's gonna happen to where he's going to hmm. um try to kind of wrestle 
<laughs> wrestle the bear. He's gonna try to wrestle control from from the main character, from Bear. And I assume his name is Bear. I think that's what they they just called him Bear. Yeah, they do call um, him Bear. So it's so it's Richie Bear. Well, Carmi. They called him Car Carmen. His name was Carmen. Okay. Yeah, but she. They got too bear. many nicknames going on in well, this yeah, show. Cause, okay, so. Cousin so Richie, Sugar. Richie, Richie calls Bear okay. cousin. Richie calls Carmi cousin. Everybody else calls him Carmi. Old girl calls him <laughs> calls him B the B word uh, in both English and Spanish. Yeah. Um, and uh, she wrong for that. Yeah, yeah, she so, is wrong for that. Know, he's got a few names. And then yeah. and then old boy just just recently started calling him Chef. And he he has kept his cool with in the midst I don't know about he, keeping cool he def, he's he's definitely he kept it together he, yes, he, kept it together, he didn't yeah. blow up on anyone yeah he could have he, he, he could have he went but. especially when he seen that good cutting knife when I tell you oh man let me speak to having a good knife in the kitchen yo yeah, like and then it be on the floor that thing so looked, disrespectful looked expensive that is so disrespectful yeah like I have worked in the food industry and when I say it will blow your mind with how the, how they conduct themselves in their kitchen with our food, it has totally shifted me. Yeah, you don't even like eating out I at all. I do not you don't, you don't like eating anywhere. out. <laughs> I have seen way too much yeah. that will blow your hair back to the middle of your um, head like it'll, <laughs> it'll recede your hairline okay yeah but what they are depicting right here feels real and having a good knife I remember uh, a while back when I was like a prepper mm -hmm. they did not have any good knives in that kitchen I had to go <laughs> buy my own cause I'm like that's the first thing that you need right for anything to move forward and be successful is having good knives in the kitchen. Right. Yeah. Without good knives in the kitchen, you are setting yourself up for failure. Yeah, or a lawsuit because somebody's gonna cut a finger off or something crazy. Like he cut himself <laughs> using that right. bogus knife, but it was it was a lot going on, and I guess that was part of his initiation or something like they, they took him through they really did and they really did uh, there was a lot of as aspects of his re interactions with certain people it seemed like it was like a testing period like yeah like you you're new around here you don't know how things run mm -hmm. you know i'm gonna ignore you mm -hmm. I'm, but then it's like oh you actually know what you're doing because that tastes good and, da -da -da. Right. and then it's like okay right. okay i can see what you're talking right. about it's like okay i'll listen to you but you just yelled at me i don't like that oh wait but what you told me to do worked so right. okay so I guess he had to know. he had to say just do it because right. he was he started off nice right saying right yeah, he, da, yeah. Da, 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 do this and then it was like nah because I've been doing it like this and when I did it's not me it's the I don't have a mixer and then he's yeah. like man do right. it just get it <laughs> and, done right 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 <laughs> and so he did it and he earned the respect because overall it seems like he is the new owner yeah. and even yeah. though he needs them to operate that restaurant, he just had to be the boss yeah. and lead by example. So, so far I'm proud of him. Like he, he has my respect cause yeah. man, he could have started slicing and dicing some folks up in that rest, <laughs> in, that rest I, I in the kitchen. Cause... Where he was going because when he looked at that knife <laughs> and then he looked at the, like he, I guess he remember, he had a flashback to the, I guess that was his brother. Oh yeah, um, Lan you know, in, the on, morgue. in the morgue. Yeah. I was like, is he about to hurt? Is he about to, he about to I shoot mean, somebody? I'm like, what's going on? It seemed like they was trying to lead us to that point that he was right. about to lose it because it was like, man, I cut myself and here's my knife the whole time. And then I burnt my hand because she right. took the pot and gave me the, yeah. Like it was yeah. just a lot going on, but yeah, the show definitely. I didn't think we would have anything to talk about because yeah. I was trying to figure out what's going on with the denim jackets in the <laughs> oven. Yeah, what? I don't, <laughs> let us know the down in the comments. The knockoff game machines. Yeah, let, let us know down in the comments. Without what is with spoilers. the denim? What about what? Yeah. What is with the denim? Like, was that like a big thing? I, I don't even know what time period this this is actually taking place in. I I just thought about that. I mean, they had cell phones, so obviously not too we long We could ago. assume that it's current. Is it today? Yeah, we okay, could definitely assume okay. that it's today um, time period, but it does have 
such a nostalgic yeah, the, feel to it because seems they kept a little retroish a little bit. Yeah, they kept going back to certain yeah. things now in certain cultures. Maybe who he's selling, maybe their connection to the beef and because it seems like it was all about the meat. Yeah, he was definitely so, trying to get a whole bunch of meat for that day. Yeah. And so I can only assume that the connections that he have or part of his culture and if you want this beef i want that vintage mm. you know because he's paying a lot of money on top of giving something vintage from 60 years ago right for that little package of meat yeah, yeah. it doesn't seem like the exchange is fair so yeah i don't i don't like i said i don't know exactly what what was going on there i assume there's some kind of not necessarily like black market but i'm sure assuming there's some kind of secondary market for like for denim or something like that i'm hmm. if they if they don't explain it then let us know down in the comments yeah. if they do explain it then let us go ahead and just experience it in the show yeah. if possible and um, the fact that he kept them in the oven yeah, that was that, a lot. It, he had it all over the like it was a closet. And then he had tons of it in the oven. Like, what is going on right now? It was crazy. And then mm. he had um, Sugar bring over that last jacket. That was the jacket that he told the guy. He's like, and also a blah 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 jacket with the original da 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 or whatever he said. He rattled off a whole bunch of specs. And then he was like, okay, you know, deal that kind of thing. And then yeah, she brought him the jacket. So I'm like, where? What is? Is this famous? Did somebody famous wear it or I'm something going like that? To like assume on. that I'm just gonna make the assumption that these jackets were passed down throughout Maybe. the family and I feel like he's sacrificing the things that he's gained that he may have inherited to save his brother's restaurant maybe I feel like there's a connection to that possibly yeah or we could be thinking way too hard about it and looking too far into it. You can let us know down in the comments if this is like not, even, know a, we good for not that. even a blip in, 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 as part of the story. Right. It's not even something that's even important. But yeah, it just seemed weird. But uh, yeah, yeah, it was an odd choice. But I can definitely see where the comedy aspects jump in. I can definitely see where the lot of the drama. The people outside. Yeah, one of them I'm had like, a sledgehammer. I was so confused. It was I'm so like, crazy. What is going on with well, these characters? Okay, so let me. Let and me the just, knockoff video. Game. Yeah, that, that video <laughs> game was that video game was wild. That that white character was literally fighting with her butt cheeks. It was just funny. Ooh, and the, he had a what is that? I didn't even see that a, part. He had a a, a, a a a golf club or something like that. Yeah, for, I'm hitting like, her what in the butt this? cheeks. It was cra it was a crazy video game. Anyways, um, but no, that the there was a guy outside that had that had a sledgehammer. The I'm one like, that had the, the paper heck? bag over his yeah, head. Yeah, I'm like, what the heck is going? Going on. So, so here's the thing. <laughs> so, when it comes to cosplay, because they're essentially they were cosplaying. There was co they were cosplaying as characters from that game. <laughs> so, you know this that that exists. That is something that people do. You know, people dress up as Chen Li and Wright and Ryu and and Ken and and you know like from Street Fighter and stuff like that. And they will go to a tournament and sometimes do that. Or for a comic convention. I know for Free Comic Book Day not that long ago, um, they actually had people who dressed in cosplay came into the comic book store and they were waiting outside for the comic book store to open. So they're outside in costume waiting. But they didn't start a riot though. I mean, like they weren't like about to break down the door. They they were so aggressive. <laughs> they were super aggressive. For them little knockoff. I know, right? For this video game that was like, but I mean, some people go crazy over like these, win obviously it was a like a video game that's like a rare vintage, like, cause he said it was like a what, German knockoff of, of <laughs> They said Mortal Kombat. But it, it was, was funny because like, when he was like, like, like uh, "What kind of knockoff version of Mortal Kombat <laughs> right. is this?" Not, not, no part of it looked like Mortal Kombat. It looked more like like Sonic the Hedgehog <gasps> or something weird. But uh, no, uh, <laughs> that's an insult to Sonic the Hedgehog. Very true. Hedgehog very true. It was just the fact that it, it was like a no. I take it back. Not Sonic the Hedgehog. I was thinking about an animated, uh, an animated style video game because it was it had characters that were animated as opposed to realistic looking characters. So it would be. They look like the Fighter. 1930s version of when Disney was coming out with Mickey and the characters. That's yeah, what... but like a really messed up version of that. Because <laughs> right? that one green character with the booty, booty cheeks, that was like, what the heck is you going on? You cannot get off the... Because I didn't even funny. see that part. It was it... funny. That was what the, the guy with I was the brown... I was taking in I guess so he was much. A, 
he was uh, I guess a chipmunk with the with the uh, golf, golf club, club. <laughs> and he was like hitting her, and she was like like dodging or hitting. I was like, what is this going on right now? <laughs> it's like, what kind of game is this? Oh my God. But uh, yeah, anyway, hilarious. Um, Very. But uh, we are excited okay. for the show. Um, <laughs> as you can see, we had a lot to say, even though we didn't have a lot to say during the show. The patrons will watch the watch along and be like, why are they so quiet? <laughs> We were trying to figure out what the heck was going on. on. Like, this is... is, is So much information coming so fast. It was. It was. But anyway, if you like what we're doing here, go ahead and like and subscribe. (laughs) Subscribe. (laughs) Uh, Hit the notification bell so you can get notification every single time we drop a video to our page. We're going to get this early. As well as the watch along of us and our resting face, our confused faces, uh, watching this show. And uh, yeah, we're excited to jump into episode two. Uh, You got any last words? Cool. Cool, cool, cool. All right. See you in episode two. Peace out.